In the space of science and monstrous secrets, the subject of what existed prior to the tremendous blast has sparked mixed discussions and fascinated characters for a long time. This gigantic inquiry doesn't simply test how we could unravel the universe, it challenges the genuine limits of human knowledge. Imagine standing at the edge of existence, exploring the titanic shadowiness, and contemplating what lay there before our universe was conceived. The event of the Big Bang marked the dawn of mankind, space, and everything we know. However, was there a moment before this? Could there have been a state of nothingness, a silence before the cosmic gathering began? And if this is true, what was it? Or perhaps there was something even more disturbing that existed before time itself. As we delve deeper into this question, science takes us on a journey beyond the universe's starting point, into ideas that challenge our consciousness. Physicist Brian Cox, known for his exploration of the wonders of the universe, suggests that something astonishing could have existed before the Big Bang. He challenges us to rethink our understanding of reality and existence. In this analysis, we'll break down the science, the theories, and the astonishing secrets that could reveal what existed before everything. We'll explore ideas like inflationary expansion, quantum fluctuations, dark energy, and even multiverses. The answers we've uncovered may leave you stunned, but they could also provide new insights into our place in the universe. Prepare to dive deep into a world beyond imagination, a realm of science where the darkness still bends around the shadows, leaving scientists awestruck and sometimes even frustrated. Let us explore what existed before the Big Bang and why these theories challenge everything we thought we knew. To appreciate what might have existed before the Big Bang, we first need to carefully examine what the Big Bang truly was. The Big Bang, as scientists define it, refers to the moment when the universe became incredibly hot and dense, expanding rapidly to trigger the formation of all matter, energy, and fundamental forces. When we look at the night sky, we see evidence of this hot beginning, with galaxies spreading out in all directions from an early stage. But why did this happen? And was there a time before this dense, hot beginning? According to the theory of cosmic inflation, there was indeed a past, and it was far from empty or tranquil. Inflation suggests that before the Big Bang, the universe was in a state that was cold, empty, and vast, essentially like a massive vacuum. However, this vacuum wasn't entirely empty. It contained an immense amount of energy that fueled the rapid expansion of space itself. This expansion, called inflation, occurred so quickly that it essentially laid the groundwork for everything to follow. In a fraction of a second, space expanded at unimaginable rates until the expansion slowed, and the energy transformed into matter, particles, and the forces we associate with the Big Bang. But what was the nature of this energy? Why did it suddenly expand the universe? And why did it stop? Scientists believe that this rapid expansion created patches of the universe, each experiencing its own Big Bang. Imagine a fabric stretching infinitely with tiny bubbles forming here and there, each bubble representing a universe, including our own. This idea, known as the inflationary multiverse, suggests that there are potentially countless Big Bangs and an infinite number of universes. Ours is just one of many. This vast, mind-bending reality challenges our understanding of the universe itself and leaves us with a question. What else is out there? The idea of nothingness before the Big Bang is speculative, not factual. However, based on our current understanding, even if you removed all energy, matter, and radiation from the universe, it would still not be truly empty. Our universe is filled with dark matter, dark energy, quantum fields, and other forces that weave an intricate tapestry of something, even in its most barren state. Even if we imagine stripping away these forces, leaving a dead void, the universe would still generate new forms of energy. This fact alone is astonishing to scientists, as it suggests that true nothingness might be impossible within our infinite understanding. Space itself has properties, rules, and constants that prevent it from being completely empty. Imagine creating a region with literally nothing in it, no particles, no radiation, and no energy. Yet quantum fields and fundamental constants would still exist, suggesting that even this nothingness has properties. For example, there's a phenomenon called zero-point energy, which represents the lowest possible energy state of a quantum field. In this state, particles can still briefly appear and disappear, 
creating a ghostly echo of activity even in what should be empty space. This challenges our concept of a true void and suggests that, yes, even before the Big Bang there was something that scientists are only beginning to understand. One of the most fascinating theories in current cosmology is the possibility of eternal inflation. If inflation could cause our universe to exist, it's possible it could continue forever. Brian Cox describes an incredibly vast inflationary multiverse where universes are endlessly created and keep expanding. Imagine each Big Bang as a spark igniting another universe, while inflation continues in other regions, creating countless additional universes. This process could, in theory, go on forever. This idea of infinite universes gives rise to a compelling concept of a fractal universe, where each new universe could generate its own Big Bang. Each universe exists as a separate, independent space, unaffected by the others due to the rapid expansion of space. For researchers, this hypothesis is both thrilling and unsettling, as it suggests an infinite multiverse with no definitive beginning or end. Imagine our universe being just a tiny part of a giant cosmic structure, eternally expanding and constantly creating new universes. And what if the unsettling truth is that there is no before or after, but rather a timeless pattern of universes forming and decaying? Our understanding of nothingness changes when we consider quantum field theory. According to this theory, the universe isn't a collection of matter floating in space. Rather, it's a complex network of energy fields that permeate the universe, interacting to create everything we observe. These fields are like invisible oceans, with particles acting as waves or disturbances. Even when fields are at their lowest energy level, known as the vacuum state, they are still active. Particles can appear and vanish in these fields, briefly borrowing energy before returning it. This phenomenon results in virtual particles, entities that exist momentarily and then disappear, leaving only a faint memory of their presence. The concept of virtual particles challenges the idea of a true void. Imagine an empty universe where all matter, radiation, and energy are removed, yet the activity of quantum fields would still persist. Would you have complete nothingness? As per the quantum field hypothesis, you wouldn't. Even in a vacuum, fields remain dynamic some of the time, making transient particles. This consistent development in what ought to be nothing suggests that the universe does not align with our concept of emptiness. The fields and forces break through, filling the universe with a mysterious energy that prevents absolute nothingness. This understanding raises an intriguing question. If fields create particles and particles make matter, might the universe itself have arisen from this nothingness filled with quantum fields? Dark energy is a puzzling force that currently drives the accelerated expansion of our universe. But did dark energy exist before the Big Bang? From certain perspectives, the existence of dark energy today could be a remnant of an energy field from before the universe's formation. The properties of dark energy suggest a vast hidden force that might have existed in a form prior to the Big Bang. Some theories propose that dark energy, in a much stronger state, could have driven the inflationary phase, causing rapid expansion. The presence of dark energy suggests that, even if our universe were depleted of all matter and radiation, this force would continue expanding the fabric of spacetime. This idea leads to an unsettling question. If dark energy existed before the Big Bang, might it have created the conditions for the birth of our universe? Could dark energy be the silent architect of inflation, or even the true origin of our universe? As we explore this possibility, we confront the potential of dark energy as not only a force shaping our universe but also as a key to unlocking the secrets of the multiverse itself. Another theory offering an alternative to the Big Bang as the ultimate beginning is cyclic cosmology. This posits that the universe undergoes infinite cycles of birth, death, and rebirth. In this model, the Big Bang is not a one-time event but part of a timeless rhythm where universes expand, collapse, and then regenerate in a new cycle. This theory suggests that our universe might have been reborn from the remnants of a previous one. The process of contraction and expansion in a cyclic pattern would mean that there was never a true beginning, just an eternal series of universes arising, evolving, and renewing themselves repeatedly. Cyclic cosmology raises profound questions about time, suggesting it might be cyclical rather than linear. If this theory is correct, 
it could mean that what existed before the Big Bang was simply another version of the universe, one that collapsed only to give birth to our current one. For researchers, this theory offers a compelling answer to the question of ultimate origins, proposing that there is no true beginning, that the universe has always existed in some form, transcending our ideas of time and existence. Early-stage gravitational waves are another fascinating concept that could hold clues to what existed before the Big Bang. Gravitational waves are ripples in space-time caused by massive cosmic events. Scientists believe that early-stage waves, if ever detected, could reveal insights into the universe's earliest moments. These waves could serve as echoes of what came before the Big Bang. If detected, they might provide evidence of the universe's past states. The potential discovery of gravitational waves from the pre-Big Bang era could unlock a new understanding of our universe. The search for what existed before the Big Bang continues to unfold with groundbreaking ideas that reshape our understanding of the universe. These investigations lead to even greater mysteries about the nature of time, energy, and existence itself. Building on the theories surrounding the universe's origins, one intriguing hypothesis involves the concept of quantum foam. At the smallest level, space is not empty but consists of a highly dynamic, fluctuating quantum field. This quantum foam, as it's called, suggests that even without matter and energy, there are still quantum fluctuations, tiny fleeting changes in energy that can create and annihilate particles. This froth of activity might have been the precursor to the universe, potentially giving rise to the first particles and forces that later became the fabric of our observable universe. The idea that the universe could have emerged from quantum foam is rooted in the principles of quantum mechanics, where uncertainty and probability are fundamental. According to Heisenberg's uncertainty principle, there are limits to how precisely we can measure a particle's properties, such as its position and energy. This leads to the possibility that even in seemingly empty space, particles can spontaneously appear and disappear. If such quantum fluctuations were significant enough, they could have given rise to the vast energies that eventually led to the Big Bang. This theory implies that the Big Bang wasn't the beginning from a classical perspective, but rather the result of a large-scale transformation in the quantum foam that reached a critical threshold, sparking the rapid expansion of the universe. In addition to quantum foam, some cosmologists suggest that the universe might have begun from a state of false vacuum energy. The false vacuum hypothesis posits that the universe before the Big Bang existed in a false vacuum state, a form of energy that is not at its lowest possible configuration. This state is unstable, and as it decays, it can lead to the formation of a true vacuum, releasing immense energy and triggering inflation. The false vacuum concept ties into the idea that the early universe might have been born from a metastable energy state, and its sudden collapse initiated rapid expansion and the creation of spacetime. Another concept that has emerged is the holographic principle, which suggests that our universe, along with everything in it, could be a projection of information encoded on a distant two-dimensional surface. This theory, related to black hole thermodynamics and string theory, implies that the universe might not be as real as we think. Instead, the three-dimensional world we experience could be an emergent phenomenon of information stored on a boundary. From this perspective, what came before the Big Bang might not be a conventional before at all, as our perception of reality could be a constructed illusion. The idea of a cyclic or eternal universe also ties into advanced models of space-time, where the Big Bang could be part of an endless cycle of creation and destruction. This is known as the Big Bounce Theory. In this scenario, instead of a single one-time Big Bang, the universe undergoes periodic contractions and expansions. After each contraction, a new Big Bang occurs, creating a new universe similar to but distinct from the previous one. If this theory is true, it could mean that the universe has always existed in some form and that the Big Bang is just one moment in a timeless cycle. This would challenge our conventional understanding of the origin of time and existence, suggesting that time itself is cyclical and infinite rather than linear and finite. 